Angel Sky coming at you with 20 questions with my husband. So I went on Instagram and I picked the top 20 questions to ask about our relationship. So it's a good way to introduce my husband so, since he hasn't been. Starting with the first one, how did you meet? You want to answer? No, I thought you were going first. Okay. How we met was we... I worked in the mall. He worked kind of like across the hall in the mall and we would pass by each other like every single day or every single break. And you know, like glance here, glance there. And then we just started kind of talking from there. Actually, I think the first time I went into one of the, uh, like a mutual friend's store and I tried on an outfit and I asked him if he liked it. And, or I asked you which one you like. It was like a red one and a black one. Mm -hmm. And then I asked you like, which one do you like? And then from there, we just started talking. Like we would just casually be like, hey, 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 what's up? How are you? Okay. But then that's when we kind of like started talking, talking because we never actually had a conversation before that. So that's how I remember. Yeah, I think we were both working at the local mall and we used to pass each other every day. Mm -hmm. And you spoke to me first, from what I remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, it was that situation where we were in a store, you were trying on an outfit, and you asked me which one looked better. Yeah. Um, and after that, it was history. All right, so that's how we first met. Question number two was, what was your first date and was it awkward? I think like any first date is awkward, mm -hmm. but our first date was dinner in a movie, IHOP in a movie. Yeah, I think we went to uh, IHOP mm -hmm. and then we went to watch a movie. What is it? What movie was it? Uh, the zombie one or something? Underworld. Underworld. That's what it mistaken. was. Like the first Underworld. Yeah, it was like 2003. Mm -hmm. um, was it awkward? I mean, it was the first date. It was kind of awkward. I guess. I feel like it was awkward at first, but then it started to get like more comfortable. So we went to IHOP first and then we went to the movie. So for me, like IHOP was awkward. But then after like, you know, having dinner and then going to the movie, I felt more comfortable like after that. But yeah. IHOP was probably definitely awkward. I, see, it's probably the opposite for me. <laughs> IHOP was fine. The movie was awkward because you just sit in silence. Yeah, but you don't have to say anything. Like that's the point. Like, yeah. At least you, like, you don't have to make a conversation. Like, at IHOP, you have to, like, think of something. So you're not just staring at each other, not saying anything. Like, it's a lot more pressure to talk. Like, in the movies, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to look at the person. Yeah. But during dinner, it's kind of, like, a little bit awkward. But, all right. So question number three, how long have you been together? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. 16. Oh. 16 years. 16 years. Yeah. 16 right? years. Yeah. Angela, 17. Mm hmm. So. 16 wonderful years. 16 long, wonderful years. Yeah. All right. Number four. How long have you been married? That's kind of easy, though, because we got married the same, the same year we had our son. Nine years? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Because I was pregnant with Anthony when I walked down the aisle. Like I'm telling you, is it up there? Yeah. But well, you can't see my belly. It was, I was like huge. I couldn't even, it was so like fast and it happened so fast. I couldn't even get a white dress and I had not been married before. I had a blue dress. I had not been married before. <laughs> what, so, what are you talking about? <laughs> but I was wearing a blue dress. Normally like if you wear something other than a white dress, it means you've been married before. Yeah, no. But I was just so big and I was so pregnant that I didn't fit into a lot of things. I gained like 80 pounds in the last trimester with my son. So I was just huge. So it was, um, it was definitely a wedding to remember. But we had all of our family there. 
my family was down from up north and it was just a really good time to do it right before we had our son and kind of, you know, seal the whole family thing. So pretty much as old as our son is, is how many years we've been married, mm -hmm. our first son. So number five, what's the one thing you love about that person? I'll let you go first. <laughs> you would let me go first. I love, obviously he's super handsome. Mm -hmm. Obviously we've had this attraction for 16 years. Sure. Um, obviously he's super handsome, but I would have to say he's an amazing dad. He's an amazing husband. He works super hard for his family and he just never lets us down. So that sounds like multiple things. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of like, it's kind of like all in one, you know, like it's kind of like goes in hand in hand. Like you're a hard worker. You're like a hard working family man type of thing. Hmm. Yeah. That's okay. my answer. Um, I would say, I guess the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. the, the total, the total package, beautiful, smart, strong, mm -hmm. determined. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess your spirit is what I'm, what the, the best thing about you. That's what attracted me to you. Is that it? That's it. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What irritates you most about the other person? You want to answer that? <laughs> I would say um, eating, like chewing, but that's like not a personal thing. That's like with everyone, like just the, like something about hearing people chew is like, it want, it makes me go crazy. I don't know what it is, but like when somebody eats like cereal and they're like crunching, I just, I can't. But cereal's I can't. crunchy. I know, but it's just like. I don't eat loud. I'm not like a extremely loud eater i know but it's just like that's the one thing that about and it's not just like a personal thing like him it's like everybody like my kids will sit, sit down at the table and eat cereal and i'm like you have to chew that loud and they're not even chewing loud they're just literally eating the cereal but it's just so distracting i guess hmm. <laughs> uh what's the question again what bothers you the most about the other person what irritates you most about them uh, maybe your he's trying to be nice right maybe now. your sense of uh, of time you know like when we have we have something to do but you you may not be able to make it somewhere on time because of different factors but how do I look when we get there amazing yeah amazing no doubt you know so is it worth it in the end mm, sure it is kind of you know it's just these things take time, you know? All right, so the next one is number seven. What's the best advice on how you stay together so long? Is it my turn? Yep. Um, just say yes <laughs> to any question that's asked of you. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, you got to communicate, obviously. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to say. When you have... When you have, when you've been together so long, you get to know a person pretty well. Mm -hmm. So you can, you know, normally tell when there's an issue or something that needs to be addressed. So I, right, because you know how they normally act, and they're acting different. Right. I would say communication, obviously, is one of the the biggest things you should work on. Yeah, I agree. I was gonna say that communication. I think like that's the top thing for any married person is just communicating. Because I feel like if you don't communicate, especially in that moment, it, things just start to build up so fast because life comes at you so fast and there's so many different factors, especially when you're married and you have kids and, you know, life just goes on and on and on. Then you have things that happen if you don't talk and you don't communicate about those things, you're never going to be on the same page. So I think, you know, staying in touch and keeping in touch and communicating about your feelings or what irritated you about that person or what made you mad because then they can learn from there too. That's how you get to know somebody is by them telling you, hey, when you did that, it hurt my feelings or I got mad or... So I think that's like the top one that everybody says is communication on a relationship. Mm -hmm. So what was that, seven? Yeah, eight. Do you want more kids? 
This is so simple. We don't have a choice. Right. Unless we adopted. Because yeah. after Elijah, I tied my tubes. I think five is good. I personally tied my tubes after <laughs> I think <laughs> I think we're good with five. I think five is good. I think we have our hands full. We have enough. You know, you're talking about with them getting older and going to college. Like, I think we've seen our baby days and we've done all that and we're ready to move on to the next phase. So, no more babies. Agreed. All right, so number nine, if you could change one thing about that person, what would it be? I'll let you answer that. I think that, I think we both kind of have the same answer for this. And it's it, it's just like anger. I feel like everybody just has like, you don't think you were going to say that? What? I feel like. You know, people get angry and it's hard to calm down. It's hard to like woo saw it out sometimes. And that's part of like communicating. So I would say that's what I would change. I was going to go with nothing, but anger sounds good. Sure. But you have to give an answer. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, like. I mean, I guess, you know, in certain times you get a short temper. But right. It's not like we walk around angry. No, 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 no. All the no. time when you have this many kids and all this going on. Right. Um, it can be stressful, but yeah, um, I would say I guess probably patience. Is a little, right, a little more patience. That's, a, that's actually a way better word than what yeah. I use. Not anger, but patience. Like having patience, which is tough when you have five kids, anyways. Yeah. So factor in life and five kids, and it just gets crazy. So yeah. definitely patience would be better. All right. So number ten, what is the other person's favorite food? Uh, I would say probably for you, fettuccine Alfredo. Mm -hmm. Probably your favorite. Yeah, I mean that. This is uh, like I'm a very. I have like I do the same things. I'm what do they say? Like methodical. Like I do the same things. I eat the same things. Every restaurant we go to, like you'll try things where I won't try things. Mm -hmm. I go back to the same thing. I always eat. Because I don't want to, I don't want to have something and not like it. Then I don't eat anything. So it's kind of easier for you to answer that than me because you eat a lot of different things. Like you're a trier, and I'm not a trier. Yeah, but I mean, there's. But like lomo santado or. or what my mother always makes. Yeah, rice and beans. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I would say something like that. Yeah. Would be your favorite. Yeah, my mother's rice and beans. Yeah. And I, I make them the same way. So, like, his mother or me, you know what I mean? Like, we, he, that's what he meant to say. Yeah, so. either, either one is Right, because I make them just as good. Yeah. All right, so the next one is 11. Are they an optimist, pessimist, or realist? I think that we're both a realist. Okay. I mean, I think there's times where, like, I think kind of like we feed off of each other. So I think there's times where I can be a pessimist or he can be a pessimist. So I'll be an optimist for him or he'll be an optimist for me. Yeah. But I think at the end of the day, we're both just realists. Yeah. I wouldn't say we're super optimistic or super pessimistic. I think we just see things like pretty much how they are. And then, like I said, sometimes when I'm being more pessimistic, he'll come in with a little bit of optimism and then kind of change the perspective, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I you agree. agree. Yeah, realist. Okay. So, number 12, what was the favorite what was your favorite date you went on with me? <sighs> with Fav me. Favorite date. Yeah. I have one. Uh I'm Probably when we went to South Beach. Oh my gosh, I didn't, I forgot about that. It wasn't just you and me though. It was, it was Angela and Angela and my Mike. cousin and his girlfriend. We spent the we day at South fun. Beach. We had fun. We had fun. And Angela wasn't even technically there because she was just in the water the whole time. Like she would not even get out of the water. Yeah. Was, and we went to, what was that place called? Wet Willies. Yeah, Wet Willies. Yeah. Yep. That's, I forgot about that. That's probably my favorite date we've gone on. That was awesome. That was definitely awesome. I forgot about that. I would have to say my birthday. My birthday. Like, weeks ago. I had fun. I had a lot of fun on my birthday. 
We had the Tahoe. We went out to like oh yeah, yeah. the um <clears throat> what's that restaurant called? I never remember anything. Uh, L'Oreal Plaza. L'Oreal Plaza. Yeah. And the kids literally, and like you don't have that in the back of your mind because the kids are at the house, not doing anything. Like they were playing somewhere, having fun. Mm -hmm. And we were out having fun. So it was kind of like a win-win for everybody. Because sometimes when we go out, I'll feel bad that the kids are at home, like not doing anything. So then I get guilted into feeling a certain type of way. But at least on my birthday, they were out and they were having fun while we were out and having fun. So it was like everybody was winning that night. So I think that was a good night for me. I think that was like our favorite date. Okay. But I don't know, like we went on so many dates. Yeah. Like, I don't remember all of them. It was so long ago. Like, talking about 17 years, 16 years ago. Like, I don't remember all those dates. Yes, that's... It's a blur. My memory's not that good. Mine isn't either. All right, so... Where was that? Favorite date you went on? What's your favorite time to look back on? I know mine. Go ahead. I would say... When we had the three bedroom over by the clock tower over there. Mm -hmm. I would say that time. I was like working at Granger. <clears throat> we didn't have really any kids yet besides Angela. It was just like a really, I felt like it was a really good time. Mm -hmm. Obviously I would never regret having our kids. It's just that time was such a, I guess I like to get into a re routine and I was in a really good routine with that. Mm -hmm. So I was like getting up every day and I don't know, I was just feeling good. Like we would come home and we would like maybe have some wine or a drink and cook dinner. So, okay. So that would probably be my favorite time to look back on. What about yours? Um, <clears throat> probably the same. Um, we were both working for the same company mm -hmm. and I used to be an outside sales rep. So I was able to come to your branch yep. just to see your pretty face mm -hmm. and work remotely from there. Um, so it was good. Like every time we needed to do something, um, you know, I can go with you to lunch or we can right. get stuff done after work. Um, it was, it was just, I would agree it was probably one of the best times to look back on. Yeah. And like I said, we used to have a lot of fun, like, because we would come home at the same time. So it would be home, you know, we would cook like a good meal and just have fun and like chill out. So I think that was probably my favorite time to look back on. So number 14, what's their favorite movie? Uh, like Avengers, like an Avenger. Yeah, that's about, I mean, oh, I have that, to say, maybe. pretty easy. I think the last one was probably... Right, favorite. your favorite one, The Last Avengers, that we saw in the movie theater. I don't yeah. remember what it's called. Uh, well, I was going to say Ragnarok. Infinity War. Infinity War, right. Ragnarok was... Uh, that was Thor. Yeah. Um, yikes. I don't know. Your favorite movie? I'm not even sure I know what my favorite movie is. Yeah, I'm not sure that you have one besides, like, Elf... Yeah, Elf is funny. Or uh, Wedding Crashers. Wedding Crashers. But if it had to be like a serious movie that I watch, a, like I used to watch a lot, it would probably be like Love and Basketball. Mm. That's like one of my favorites. But I don't know. I've never actually thought about that. All right. So number 15, who is their celebrity crush? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, your celebrity crush would be Omari Hardwick, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty cute, I guess. Mm. Okay. I would say yours would be the girl from Boat Trip. Huh? The girl from Boat Trip, Sanchez. Oh, okay. With the long, dark hair. Yeah. I don't think she's been in movies in a while. Mm -mm. And then the lead singer of Pussycat Dolls. Who? Don't say who. <laughs> who? Who are you talking about? The lead singer from Pussycat Dolls, Nicole. Oh. Okay. No? Yeah, yeah probably, I'd agree with that. Who else were you thinking about? That's it. Because that's all I could think of. Yeah. I mean, I know you, have some, you used to have like that weird crush on that one lady like when you were younger. 
the one from um, oh yeah like her or whatever yeah. but that was like a young crush that's different yeah all right so number 16 when should you tell your kids about oh they're gonna watch this so i don't want to say that okay mm, i got these questions <clears throat> from instagram from you guys but one of them is a a question i don't want my kids to look back on right now so we're gonna skip that one and go to 17, which is what was the craziest thing you've done together? Uh, I don't know. We've done so many crazy things. Wild and crazy. <laughs> We're just crazy people. Have five kids. Yeah. That was pretty crazy. I mean, we snuck into a pool at a neighborhood. Yep. In the middle of the night, went skinny dipping. Yep, that was pretty fun, actually. I wouldn't call that crazy. No. It's pretty regular. Yeah. I mean, sneaking into a pool at night, like, I feel like everybody's done that. I don't think we've ever done anything like, oh my gosh. I can't think of anything, really. No. We're just boring. Mm hmm So, the next <clears throat> one, 18, is what is your favorite feature that attracted you to that person? Am I supposed to tell? Sure. Um, I mean, I know this, like, you're not supposed to say this, but I, I like your physique, I like your body. Uh, of course, your face is beautiful, but your, your, your body's perfect to me. You know, you like athletic, um, shaped perfectly. Or just skinny. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> How is an athletic person skinny? Like I don't, I don't think I have an athletic build. I would just think I'm skinny. Okay. Yeah, I would say your your body is beautiful. I don't know if I have like if there's one defining feature. I just I, I know it sounds weird. I just like your face. Like I don't know what to say. Like I don't think like there's like oh I like his nose or his eyes or his lips. Like I just think it's collectively your face oh, that's sweet. that doesn't even sound right coming out but that's like <laughs> honestly i think you've always just you've always just been handsome all right so number 19 what is their dream car well that's easy you already know mine yeah i think you want like a brand new chevy tahoe yeah that's it like if we were billionaires i would just be in my tahoe like that's it that's just it i'm not like a lamborghini type of person but I don't know about you. I mean, I would say like a Mustang, but then I don't know if that's your dream car. It's up there. Yeah. Like yeah. you wouldn't, you would want it over like a Lamborghini or something like that. Yeah. I don't care for, I mean, the, the only other car I like that's not like an American muscle car is the GTR. Oh like yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Nissan GTR. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I like a few others, but those are probably my top two, like a brand new um, GT500 or a GTR. Learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. All right, simple people, what can I tell you? So last one, number <laughs> 20, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Uh, I think... 10 years older? Yeah, I think uh, hopefully this whole... Social media thing will be taken off for my wife, and we'll be, uh, we'll be living lavish, sitting on a high horse somewhere <clears throat> in a big house. I mean, honestly, I just hope like we just have our kids, and they're all happy and healthy, and everybody's going strong and going good. I mean, ten years. You think it's a long time, but then it goes by in like the blink of an eye and Anthony's 19 and Sophie's 17 and Thanks. it just seems so far away. But in having a 17 year old, I can tell you how fast it does go by. So I just hope everybody is happy and healthy and we stick together as a family and I'm sure you'll see us again just like this in 10 years because if it's been 17 What's another 10, honestly, at this point? So that wraps it up for our 20 questions. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you on my next one. See ya. Bye, guys.
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.